This is the Al Assad Air Base that was targeted by Iranian ballistic missiles, and they caused considerable damage. This is one of the sites that was hit by one of the missiles. And this was a chow hall, a small place where the soldiers would come, get their food, have their meals, completely obliterated. And if we go around the corner here, we can take you to another part of this facility that was hit, took a lot more damage. This was a housing unit. All of these boxes, one after another, these were housing units. They housed soldiers, but their beds, their personal belongings, everything has been incinerated. Now, had the soldiers been in here, and there were about 30 people living in these different units, uh, there could have been mass casualties. The soldiers believe they would have all been killed had they not had advance warning. And they did have advance warning about two hours, knowing that something was coming. They weren't sure exactly what was coming, but they knew there would be some kind of attack. So according to U.S. intelligence uh, tip off, so they were able to get inside bunkers and ride out the attack. Now, the attack, this attack, was relatively popular in Iran. People thought that this was a, a, a symbol of Iranian strength. And by the way, Iranian officials said that their attack wasn't designed to kill American troops. It certainly doesn't look that way when you have ballistic missiles exploding where U.S. troops were living. But Iran said it was a symbolic attack, and, and this attack was received with a lot of popularity, a lot of national sentiment in Iran. It was seen as revenge for killing the Iranian general. Now, it's a very different story, however, with that plane that was shot down. The uh, Iranians first lied about uh, shooting down the plane, shooting down that passenger jet, and then uh, after they were outed by the United States and Western Intelligence Agency, they had to come out and admit it. And they killed civilians, they killed Iranians, and now for the, for the third day there are protests on the streets of Iran, people saying that their government are liars, saying that the government uh, is dictators, that they are repressive. So Iran now has a real domestic situation. Things have gone, uh, have shifted very dramatically from a, a, a mood in Iran of of nationalistic patriotic fever after they were able to do this much damage on a uh, on a base housing U.S. facilities and not trigger a, 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 a massive war. Although I can tell you, had they killed all of the people who were living here, and that was a real possibility, uh, I think we'd be in a very different situation than we are now. But instead, that patriotic fever has gone away, and now in Iran there are angry protests. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.